to Australia when five, six, seven, eight years ago, and they cancelled on everyone. Oh no! Is it oh, Huey, Huey, Huey. No, 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 no. never been anything. Oh well. Hope he's alright. I still forgive him, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, um, we are talking with Madonna from New Leaf and Natural Therapies. Um, we actually had a caller in. I when I first started, just after nine o'clock, I had a lady that called in. Her name was Rebecca. So hello, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. She's been listening. She had a question to ask. Now the question was, she's now forty-five. She's just been diagnosed with several allergies, starting off with lactose intolerance. Also, she's allergic to a lot of soaps, things to wash herself with her skin. Yes. Um, even the hair, she says sometimes when she washes her hair, her scalp gets quite irritated. So the question she asked was, what do you advise people that do develop these allergies? And is it because it's a new thing? Is it because she thinks, or she thinks her uh, immune system might be overstimulated? Yes. What are your thoughts on that? Well, with allergies and intolerances, it's an excess of T helper two cells. So absolutely, there's too many T helper T helper two cells that are releasing histamines and other chemicals. Yeah. So without a doubt. Without a doubt, overstimulated. Yes. So, uh, yeah, so there's stop. too many of T helper twos. Yeah. So what we need to do then is, and I know this is a boring naturopathic thought, but it's cleaning up the immune system. It's making sure the gut is working well and doing a bit of a something something on the gut to make sure the villi are all working properly, to make sure we're releasing the correct enzymes. You know, milk is one of those things that so many people, I don't know what the percentage is, but it's pretty huge, the people who have lactose intolerance. Now, one of the problems is that because, and I'm not saying this is a bad thing, but because we pasteurise and homogenise milk, that changes the molecular structure, makes it harder for our bodies to digest. Some people simply have, don't have the genes to release lactase, which is the enzyme we need to break down lactose, but sometimes it's just because we've destroyed the villi because of the pill or antibiotics or something, or lifestyle stress, 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 stress. You know, we always, you know, stress is so, <laughs> it causes so many things. Uh, so you've got to clean up the gut because basically the T helper 3 and T helper 17 cells, they're supposed to balance your T helper 1s and T helper 2s. So when you've got an excess of T helper 2s, your T helper 1s aren't working properly and neither are your 3s or 17s. Right. And that doesn't mean that we've done anything wrong. No, no, it no. It can be something as simple as, it's just something we've developed over as we've aged. Yeah. Unfortunately, ageing isn't very nice because... No, and like we're all living on this planet at the moment. Yeah. We all know we're breathing in pollutants. We, You know, it's just, you can't get away from that. So when the body starts giving you a symptom like this, it's saying, okay... What do we need to do here? Uh, once we get that excess T helper 2, we're more likely to develop autoimmunity, especially women. We're eight times more likely to develop an autoimmune condition than men. Yeah. So uh, particularly lactose and gluten in wheat, those two are very much linked in with Hashimoto's, so the autoimmune disease that attacks the thyroid. Yeah. I used to uh, get a few people that came into the clinic and they would have symptoms of irritable bowel uh, constantly. And we would... I mean, a majority of the people we would relate to being actually lactose intolerant. Yes. So we, you know, we started with change the diet, change, put the, you balance the bacteria in your gut a bit better, yeah. um, you know, remove all the lactose and try that yeah. way. Some people responded, yes. some people don't. So it's, yeah. an allergy is something that, there's lots of natural therapies. Absolutely, yes. And you could start with, say, vegetarian, oh, sorry, digestive enzymes. You know, yeah. there's lots of digestive enzymes that help to break down your carbs, your proteins, your fats. So they have all sorts of enzymes in them. So it supports the body while you're breaking down other things. But obviously, once perfumes and things, you know, that's once again, it's a smell, it's activating things. It's those chemicals and the shampoos and conditioners. Those things are so microscopic, they can get inside the cell walls mm -hmm. and then they can adjust the way the body releases hormones. Yeah, and over a period of time of, of exposure like that, you can get overstimulated yeah. with your immune system. All right, we're going to get overstimulated right now with a great song by Queen. This is I Want to Break Free. Here at Bay Health with Madonna and Sandy.